Oh. Welcome back to Attack, everybody. Today we have just figured out the craziest plot twist of the whole game, probably. There's the, still, there's still, I'll, there is a little bit of wiggle room. Oh yeah, a hundred percent there is, but <laughs> but spoiler alert, get out if you don't want to know. But Smoogie's probably the mastermind. Well, That's like who we're pointing to. Honestly, if you clicked, it says Smoogie. What's the meaning of this? So it's kind of on you at this point. Yeah, but there you go. They say That's that better. a lot. <laughs> you know, they're always calling each other out. Let's go. I don't yeah. want to wait. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's really be true? Come on, do a personality swap. Yeah. Smoogie, is this true? No, it's not. Prove it. I really only went to use the bathroom. I didn't know about the hidden passage. Look lively, Mono Cubs. You're up. Move your ass out. <laughs> All right. That's very wrong. Oh, two of them are dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love that. That's very wrong. Oh, father's never yelled like that before if we don't do well been here, alive like we're all gonna a get day. blown up together i still want to live longer i want to see the next chapter what if there could be a seventh chapter at all so this is the last game let us win i don't know what please please let us win no you're gonna die i'm gonna kill you we're gonna argue with it has to be her because which one secret passage probably Mother we Kuma voice print. Die. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We're like snowflakes. We're one of a kind. I don't know what Four Eyes is talking about. Uh -huh. Bad guys never wear glasses. Yeah, Kill do. that one. Anyway, Kill that one. Just cut it out. Also, he's wearing glasses. Oh, that's we true. We don't want to die. Vance, all right. Monokuma and the Mastermind are the bad guys here. You don't want to die? <laughs> do you know how many of my friends were sacrificed? Hey, you killed him. Please help us. Kinda. Get it. There oh, you four go. eyes over there, really? The mastermind? We don't know anything. Kill it. No. Gage. I don't wanna. I don't wanna explode. Even if she is the culprit. Okay, look for the yellow. Hey, let's just stop this. There's no evidence that she's the mastermind. There you no, go. I missed. I missed. No. There, get it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank God. <laughs> cut through your words. It's really hard to aim it. Yeah, I'd, I've never touched the controller with it, but just Before take my word. Destroyed, I believe you. Mother Kuma told I'm not bad at games, I swear, guys. I have a built-in voice print authentic authentication system. I can't birth Monokumas unless the designated person specifically says the word birth. I wonder what would have happened if Samugi was like, birth, birth. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. That individual is, of course... The mastermind. Oh, I wish we could test it now. Too bad Mother Kuma's dead. No, I think it's for the better. The mastermind commands yeah, Mother probably. Kuma to give birth. It makes a spare. <sighs> can can they please pick a different word? I don't want to imagine Monokuma giving birth. Birth is gross. We all tried it out. Uh, but Kiba wasn't there, was he? Right, because I was fighting the Exosols. Yeah, yeah he was kind of occupied. Did you hear that? Kibo didn't try giving Mother Kuma a command. Uh, so, okay. Hey. So that makes him and you, and now let's get rid of him. So the real mastermind. I, I do wonder, the Exosols have a voice changer. True. Which I don't Maybe. know why that would mean anything, because no one was in an Exosol. Oh sorry. Woo, woo. But But that's the a only good other point. person I could see having a voice changer would be Kibo. Or, or I would think a cosplayer would be able to copy maybe it's not samugi's voice but junko's maybe she took over the mastermind role yeah that'd be cool i don't know samugi was the only one who didn't say give birth <laughs> gross huh? everyone else said give birth <laughs> i'm glad you remember suichi <laughs> whatever just give birth to a monokuma are you listening? We said to give birth to a new Monokuma. I wondered why this segment was so weird. <laughs> Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. Tsumugi specifically used a different phrase. What, just do it or something? Yeah, try and make a new Monokuma. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Tsumugi. You didn't say give birth. You said make. Where do you get this memory of yours, Shuichi? Give, <laughs> Seriously. Give me, give me it. <gasps> You knew how to get Mother Kuma to create a spare, didn't you? That's why you specifically said make. If you had said give birth, Mother Kuma would have made a spare. Hmm. Am I right, Sumugi? Come on, just admit it. Yeah. I want to know. Hey, come on. What's wrong? 
Oh, Sabuki, sorry. I like you a lot, but you you just need to admit it. Don't be like that, Shuichi. Do you really think I'm the mastermind? Yep. Th there's just no way. Has there been any clues or anything in her free time events? She usually just talks about, like, cosplay and, like... She talks about how much she idolizes fictional characters. That's the one thing I think that could be similar between her... And Junko. Maybe she idolizes Junko. That's that's my thought. I mean, she was probably literally dressed up as Junko in that still we saw. In which case... She has the hair length to support it. Yeah, that... Who do you think the Makoto kid is? I think it's Kokichi, honestly. Okay. Because... I, I was wondering if maybe it could be Sumugi. <laughs> You think, like, an, it could be an ultimate, like, cosplay thing? I don't know. I have no idea. It would kind of... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just a thought. <laughs> I mean... Hey, everyone! Say something! You know I what? It could be Samugi. That's crazy, right? I don't think it's impossible. If she was all about cosplay, that dude was probably the biggest, like, picture of hope in the world. So, if what, she what is, dude? like, a... Makoto! No, I'm talking the Makoto kid. I know. Oh. So she might have just, like, been young and pretending to be Makoto. Oh. Like, I'm Makoto, blah, 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 because the kid does, <laughs> it sounds like a girl, first of all. A like, the bit. kid does sound like a girl. I think that's how they just do kid voice actors, though. Usually. Um, But also, she might be younger, or if she is the mastermind in orchestrating this, she might have just been awake for a few years longer. Yeah. Like, at yeah, the- Yeah, maybe she just snuck on board and then just stayed alive. I mean, yeah, time and age is not really a factor here when someone could have been frozen or not frozen for longer than someone else. But then what happened to the ultimate, the person who, how do I put it? There, there were already 16 cryopods. Wouldn't she have to get rid of one person? And then just, would she make the role of Smoogie for herself? And then just alter everyone's memories into thinking Smoogie was always on board with them? I mean, with the flashback lights, anything is up for grabs. Yeah. With the, the flashback lights are the one thing stopping me from going gung-ho on anything, because everything I know could be fake. Yep. Then refute it. We're waiting. Oh, my God. Everyone is, like, believing us now. Huh? I feel like I could say, it's you, Maki, and she'd be like, I, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> True. I did do that. <laughs> I don't want to believe it either, that one of our friends, the survivors, could do this. That's why I'm begging, Sumugi. I'm begging you to refute me. I might be wrong. I... I was wrong before. About Kaede. That's why I need everyone's help. I don't care if my detective work is wrong. I want to hear your argument. Reaching the truth together is what cooperation means to me. There you go. Mm-hmm. Sumugi, please. Why was I born dumb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't think of anything. Seriously, seriously, if you put me in the hot seat like that, like, Gage, you're the mastermind. All you got to do is, like, refute me and all will be good. I'd be like, oh, um, I mean, at her. that point, just close your eyes and tell the truth. And, you know, unless it's a lie, in which case you kind of deserve what's coming. Yeah, a little bit. Smoogie, a lot of bit. <laughs> like a lot yeah, of yeah, bit. a lot, a lot of bit. What's the matter? You can't argue back after hearing that. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on right now, but just hold on a sec. Oh, Monosuke's infamous impatience rears its ugly head. And what an ugly head it is. I thought you liked him. I, I don't think friends should blame each other like this. You was know? it this three left alive originally? No, it was, uh... It was Monodom and then the Monotaro and Monophony, right? Yeah, so it's not going in the same order quite yet. Okay. Come on, smile, everyone! I know, we could watch a comedy special so we could all smile... Get blown up. <laughs> oh! Jeez, you're noisy. Oh, well, he didn't even hide that one. Hmm. Ah! Madasuke! <laughs> She's showing all the vomit colors. Good for her. You loved Monosuke so much. No, I didn't. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> part now. I aspire to be Monokuma. That is not a good thing. So be quiet and watch like good little pups. <laughs> Father? <laughs> See? It's getting exciting. 
Shuichi is trying to reveal the mastermind, trying to overcome despair. All you gotta do is prove me wrong, Samugi. Part of me wants you to, but honestly, I think it'd be a really cool twist if you were the mastermind, so... It's so... You know, pounding. speaking from it, like, in correlation... In the first game, the mastermind was hidden the whole time. In the second game, the mastermind was you. Do you think in the third game, the mastermind could be like everybody? Like we're all the mastermind in a weird way? Um, I mean, probably not. Marikuma is... said something at one point, like, I thought he said something about us wanting this. You yeah, know? That's, that's another thought too. I don't know. That yeah. just seems a little odd. I, I do think it could be something different from the last two games. But, I mean, the mastermind being someone who's experienced the whole thing with you would be a new twist. Yeah, that's still something different, so. so. We have the mastermind cornered. Why is Monokuma so calm? Mm. You should be feeling concerned as well. Yeah, that that's what bothers me is he's still like, doesn't change anything. Yeah. What if there's like, why wouldn't it change anything even if you found the mastermind? And like, even maybe if you can control these flashback lights, you can make a mastermind out of anybody. Okay. That would be a good... Maybe Samugi wasn't the mastermind to start with. But they just randomly went like, hmm, guess she's the mastermind. <laughs> yeah. If you make the mastermind's identity clear, all of this will be settled. Well, He's... I know who I'm supposed to pick. Yep. Not gonna think any further. I almost hope it isn't Samugi. Like, I still have doubts in my head. I do have doubts in my head, too, but mastermind everything's added up. Game. And the culprit who killed Rantaro... It's you, Samugi. There are no other possibilities. All right, come on now, reveal yourself. Do you have anything to say? Uh, anything to say? Even if you keep saying all that stuff, I still don't get it. Hey, let's stop this already. You're mistaken. I'm gonna feel really bad though if it wasn't her. I mean, it's still, I can believe that. If the game was like, no, it's not actually her, I'd be like, okay, then who is it? Well, we're you know? not even halfway through the trial yet. Yeah. So. Because we're all friends, right? But also, like you said, Mastermind usually gets revealed pretty early in these trials. Yeah, because I'm expecting some sort of Junko figure to pop out and be like, <laughs> <laughs> That is kind of what she sounds like. <laughs> Weren't we going to work together to end this killing game? We still can. You can just work with me as a Mastermind. Yeah. This is a class trial. Although we were forced into these class trials by the Mastermind, that's how we survived. It was the only way. It was the only way we could survive. I, I still think we're probably going to despair one more time. I, I wonder if you could, like, get Samugi killed this way and then it wasn't her. <laughs> Maybe. And, and then that's like, oh no, I'm a failure as a detective. But also... So please, Tsumugi refused... Literally, what else makes sense? Say something. Ah. Your life depends on it. I can't think of anything... I do think it makes sense it'd be one of us because... Yeah, it does. It is just weird that all the facilities the Mastermind uses are in different spots of the building. You'd kind of have to be one of us to blend in and use them all perfectly, you know? You'd still have to be someone who's alive. Like, it just, it does just add up. Yeah. Now, reveal yourself, Samugi. I don't want the doubt in my head anymore. Please. Samugi, I don't want to suspect you. I want to believe in you. I want the Mastermind to be somewhere else, like in the previous Killing Games. It also makes sense why she went along with the Atua thing. Just to... What prime reason to cause conflict, you know? Yeah. It yeah. literally creates a me versus you type thing. Ooh, this is an interesting plot point. I'll go with this. Yeah. If you're really not the Mastermind, then don't give up. I'll cheer you on. Even if you say that... <laughs> Samugi is taking her yes. sweet time, but waiting around is so boring. Come on, reveal something. Hey, Shuichi, why don't we look over the case again? What? Okay. Come on, that's like your thing. Present the truth and end this. Where's, the, where's the intermission? Yeah. <laughs> there are people who don't know what the heck is going on until we get to this part. Now then. He was talking to you, start. viewers. What? <laughs> What? No! What now? This may this is what makes me think it's wrong now. The people in the dining hall. Where was the mastermind just before Rantara was killed? Really? This is like the first one. 
Okay, all right. I like it. I dig it. Okay. All right, we have the people in the dining hall. That's all we have. They have glasses, <laughs> dude. Like, come on. <laughs> Who jumped out oh, here? Yeah. Here we go. Then we got this one now. Survivor perk. Rantaro That's what they picked sur up. Survivor perk. Farther down. Oh, you think it's when Samugi picked it up? Yeah. Oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Suichi runs! I'm scared! I miss Kaede. I really liked Kaede. If she was around longer in the story, I would even call her a favorite, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Rentaro lured to the camera. Right above Rentaro's head. But it missed, apparently. Uh, hidden passageway in the bathroom. What is the... There you go. Bathroom. And then our last one. Can you recycle a shot put ball? Can you recycle it? <laughs> Guess not. So where's this last one? Uh, I guess it's just the one at the beginning. Where was the mastermind? Oh, just before Rantara was killed. Oh, okay. This I mean, technically the, the hidden case. room, but whatever. With this new evidence. Oh, this is just so weird. Rantaro's murder. Is this the same comic or a different one? I think it's pretty much the same. The night yeah, it looks similar. Kaede and I <laughs> also, no one notices us peeking out. Yeah. We were waiting for the mastermind to trigger the trap we set in the library. Can we bring Kaede time, back? There were four people in the dining I hall, know. Including the mastermind. I mean, maybe Monokuma would. Like, oh, I got it wrong. Here, you can have this one back. Yeah, Kyo was so gonna try and kill everyone in that room. Yeah. I think Kurumi would have stopped him, because Kurumi's honestly really strong. But he might have killed someone before she was able to, you did, know? Did we come up with that, or did a comment mention that? I, I said it. I was okay. like, I think it makes a lot of sense that Kyo would be chilling in that room and, like, waiting to kill someone. You definitely would have gotten Mew off real quick. Yeah. The mastermind was probably irritated that no murders had yet occurred. And honestly, Kurumi was a really cool character if she didn't remember everything. Like, she was really, really nice before she remembered everything. Yeah, I mean, it's just... You know, the motives are always a motive, whether you like it or not. Yeah. After the motive was given, they knew that Kaede was planning something. But the mastermind wanted some insurance. They would take action if necessary. The mastermind excused himself from the dining hall and went to the bathroom. And from there, to the hidden room in the library that only the mastermind could enter. My only question is why would Tenko... Not Tenko. Why would Sumugi be so insistent that Rantaro dies in this trial? Or did she not care that it was Rantaro that dies, but she I, just needed someone to die in this trial? Who else could she have killed? So that the killing game could go on. Yeah, she just needed someone to die. Rantaro was the easiest pick. He was literally right next to her secret hideout. She needed it to not look like her so she could keep supervising the killing game. Right. This is so weird. I love it. And there they waited. With less than an hour before the time limit expired. And yeah, it Rantaro all tracks because everything was like blaring loudly too. Yep. Which set off the receiver I was holding. Huh. It all happened the way we determined in the first trial. Except at the end. Huh. I ran out of the room and Kaede rolled the shot put ball into the air vent. At the same time, Rantaro was lured by the flash of the hidden camera Kaede set. He unwittingly stepped right into the path of the shot. <laughs> and it missed. Yep, yep, yep. Very noisy, he didn't hear it. The shot rolled down the path Kaede made, and then... Or maybe he did hear it and moved away, like, last second, you know? Have, yeah. Because I still think that'd be pretty loud. Fell right onto Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. <laughs> okay. Or so we thought. It turns out... You know Shuichi's sitting there like, the I'm gonna plot twist them so story. hard. <laughs> In reality... Ultimate storyteller. ...happened quite differently. Because it failed. <laughs> yeah. I remember thinking the original, like, murder plan was, a, like, pretty far-fetched for it to succeed, you know? I mean, getting yeah. it to land exactly on his head, just from a little ramp you built, and, like, being there at the exact time you wanted him to be there. I I'm kind of glad it turned out not to be true, because, honestly, I thought that was a little, like, really? <laughs> well. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess good good catch on that, because you're right. But 
there have been far fetched things before. I yeah, just, exactly. I like, quoted his dang and Rampa logic. Like, I, I feel like the game was probably aware of that. Like something we noticed, or that I noticed while editing the fifth trial. And someone correct me if I'm just being dumb about this, right? But you're shown the video of Kaito's body being crushed right at the start of the trial. And there is no blood on the floor. Yeah, like, there's nothing that... There's no blood trail or anything, but if you look, like, in the comic, they make... the sequence of events is they drag the body, and then do the crush video trick, you know? I mean, how? yeah, how could you have gotten that trail there without the body drag? It, and it was a wide angle, so the blood trail should have been in frame, I feel like. We were literally, like, looking at it together over Discord, and yeah, it should have been. Like, it, it definitely seemed like it. Unless... So. There Unless might be. there's another avenue, maybe that's something that genuinely isn't supposed to make sense, and it's another clue to this trial. Yeah, I don't know. Which is the only thing that... That was the clue that had me thinking, like, could the Mastermind be behind other murders, too? Because that would work then. Because that, that one... That was a little just sketchy to me, too. And the wire being left out in the second trial. Like, why? <laughs> maybe the Mastermind was, like, making it a little bit easier each time. Yeah, just to make it interesting so he could solve it. But it's like... I don't know. Hmm. Was there anything in, like, the third trial? Well, the third trial was kind of obvious. Mastermind didn't really need to do anything for that no. one. Fourth trial... She stayed out of the way, and that's really it. Fourth trial was just kind of easy. I don't know. I don't well, know. Let, let's continue, let's continue. Yeah, just interesting points to bring up. <laughs> what was Rentaro thinking? So we just try to kill me, bro? Been surprised seeing the shot put ball drop out of nowhere like that. He looks so cute in that one. He does. But his fate was sealed. Oh, the mastermind man. mastermind saw that Kaede's plan failed and stepped in to finish the job. Huh. She must have some arm strength. The mastermind jumped out of the hidden room and attacked Rantaro from behind. I would never have expected this, though. Mm. <laughs> and in their hand, the real murder weapon. I wonder if you did, like, pick some Mugi in that little circle minigame, what she would say to it. Yeah. You like know, in the very first trial? All right. That's a good question. I bet there's an Easter egg there. There has to be, if this is all true. Yeah, I'm sure it still fails you, but... Mm. Rantaro wasn't killed by Kaede's shot, but by the Masterminds. Yep. <laughs> Why do they make her look the so above? Picked up shot Maybe she is. And left their shot put ball yeah. the scene. Never seen her in anything that doesn't cover her arms. <laughs> true. Guess if you're a cosplayer, you gotta be in good he shape. He also looted the survivor yeah. perk monopad from Rantaro's body. Ooh, loot. <laughs> Those things in hand. Do you think your love hotel event foreshadows it at all with the big brother thing? No. <laughs> I can't think of how it would. Did Junko have a big brother fetish? I remember seeing the bookcase closing just as Kaede and I got there. The mastermind had probably just finished their crime. Sumugi so really... We've been, like, I wonder if someone could have used a blackout light on her. And she doesn't know if she's the mastermind right now. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, we know it exists. Because she honestly hasn't been acting all that suspiciously. She She's just been like, what do you mean? Like, what? It wasn't me. I mean, if she wanted to truly experience despair, what better place to be put in than ours? Yeah, maybe, maybe she wants to, like, feel the same despair as we do, you know? Yeah. That that's an interesting way of looking at it. But also, would Monokuma like give her back her memories when uh I don't know, maybe he's just switching her memories on and off. Yeah. The real truth was perfectly hidden from us. We went to the class trial. I mean, what better way to disguise yourself? Kaede was the culprit. But that truth had been twisted by the mastermind. Poor Kaede, she got shafted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> After the murder, the mastermind left the stolen monopad on the table in the hidden room. Should have thrown that away. And threw Kaede's shot put ball into the trash can. A little careless of them to not get rid of all the evidence. They probably believed no one would ever get into that room, but we did. Why wouldn't they get rid of the evidence, though? Also, yeah, I feel the like Smoogie has to be kind of aware. The mastermind went back through the hidden passageway. Because she purposely the said the give birth thing. From the hidden room yeah, the that's true. She did avoid saying that. 
the girl's bathroom on the first floor. Yeah, look how run down it was. <sighs> While the wow. mastermind was pretending to use the girl's bathroom, they were actually using the hidden passageway. That's how they moved Man. around without being noticed. Anyone could have used the hidden passageway, not just the people in the dining hall. Then she just went and rejoined us like normal. But looking mm -hmm. at the washed her hands or something. Only you could possibly be the mastermind. Really? Wow. Okay. If I'm wrong, not a frame I ever thought I'd see. Refute me. Not in this context. I could have believed her being a killer for sure. Like, for whatever motive or whatever reason, but... I don't know, like, even from the get-go, I think we bring up, like, I don't... She just seems like a plain survivor, you know? Yeah, but that's what would have made her a good killer, I think. That's what made her but a it great... makes her an even better mastermind. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Please tell us you aren't the mastermind. Tsumugi Shirogane, the ultimate cosplayer. And she's, like, the first person you talk to when you leave the, uh... First classroom you're in. That's the truth of this case. Yeah. Of the killing game itself. Well, Tsumugi. Well, what? <laughs> Come on, say something. I'm starting to feel bad. Yeah. Yes! What a scorching hot twist! My hand holding the detonator is. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it. Don't get tense! C -c Calm down! Daddy! Please stop this! Blow her up. Go back to how you used to be when you loved us so, so much! That was just never. How I used to be was more suited to a different story than this one. Huh? He was a solo bear. Basically, your story doesn't matter. I gotta watch this exciting development. Well, Tsumugi, are there any flaws in Shuichi's logic? There's still so many unanswered questions, though. Yeah. I'm sitting here in like the phase of like, oh, we figured it out. You didn't. You didn't figure There's nothing out. There's a million yet. more things. Yeah. 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 If so, it's gonna be a long trial. <laughs> yep. Flaws? There's a bunch of flaws all over it. Point them out. Then explain. Y you can do it. You can do it, Smoogie. Even if you cheer me on. It's not like that. I didn't do it. <laughs> That's, That's not a... You, that doesn't tell us anything. Fight back, Smoogie. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Daddy, you're tensing up again. Uh-oh. I still want to live, so please don't push the button! Tsumugi, please just say something. If you don't defend Come yourself... Is it, she's the mastermind? What? Okay, here's the theory. Is uh, Sumugi the traitor? But there could still be a different mastermind? Because there's always been a traitor. What I don't know. I, just, I don't think they do Jungo again. And also, the cosplayer would probably be like, I want to be Junko, and then be Junko. I just, I don't think, I think it's Samugi, you know? Just a theory, bro. Maybe she's got her brain all scrambled, Game but... theory. But continue! Okay, fine. Because it's always been her. Oh, okay, that's only your only reason? Hmm. In the Hope's Peak killing game, and in the Jabberwock Island killing game, Junko and Oshima didn't participate. She controlled the game from outside. Even if it's boring or repetitive, she's always the mastermind, isn't she? Then it's like that this time, too. It's gotta be Junko again! Junko and Oshima is dead. She's not part of this killing game. Y you're wrong. She hasn't been eliminated. She's... It's all Junko's doing! This killing game is her doing, too! Um... Yeah, that's gotta be it. Because Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Because Junko and Oshima is... What? Junko and Oshima <laughs> What? Is... Just tell me! Daddy, please don't get so excited! <laughs> you pressed the button by accident! Look at our cute faces! Can you really bear to be without us? Yes, now blow them up. Hey, get rid of Junko them. and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> Okay, time for a commercial break. What? No, it isn't! Oh. See? We're a good comedy group, too! So please, don't... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of glad they're gone. <laughs> oh? Because Junko and Oshima is... You? Junko and Oshima Your idol? is... Right the fuck here! 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, so she is cosplaying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. Right. Well. Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go what again? What's but her? Her eyes are different. Yeah. What's the letters in her eyes? It, it looks like an E in the second one and a V in the first one. V three. V three. Oh, I see. Oh, man. The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko Enoshima, the 53rd. Yeah, because I mean... Hold we, on, hold on. The, the 53rd? That's a lot of Junkos. All right, come on. Tell me. New ultimate despair. Oh, great. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> once again, the mastermind is Junko Enoshima. And it was spooky the whole time. Oh. What? Kind of explains why I never found some weird portraits of her. Yeah, it's probably it, they just aren't under the tag of Sumugi. It's yeah. under Junko and Oshima, the fifty third, I guess. <laughs> Junko and Oshima, the fifty third. <laughs> really, that's your reaction? Sumugi, what's the matter? Aren't you Sumugi Shirogane? Not really. Our friend who survived with us. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about. It's the same poses Shirogane. too. Yeah, it is. Wow. Because I'm just a character, you know, alive. How are you doing that? Sorry to all her fans. It's little bears here. coming in and dressing her out. That is. A, a lie? Sumuki Shiragani was nothing more than a cover for me, the mastermind. <laughs> Calling her your friend? Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really? I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Are you serious? You're the mastermind <laughs> behind this? Well, you're the person who deduced it. Yeah. But why? That face and that voice. It's just like... Junko Enoshima. Yes. I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? Not really. Aren't you gonna honor the killing game rules? Please? Mm. <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> well, does it? No. No. That's you know, possible. it is interesting. I just Junko thought of this. Mm. Is dead. The Roman numeral for V is or for five is V. And then she oh, also so it's fifty three. Yeah, it must be uh, what it means. Oh, okay. Good, good catch. But why did you call yourself the fifty? I don't know why I wouldn't just do like L three because L is fifty. So, but whatever. Hmm. As history repeats itself, so does Junko Enoshima. So do you think... Do you think it's actually the same voice actor the whole time? I don't know. Because it sounds really similar. I don't really remember the last one that well. I I feel like we've had comments pointing out the voice actors that have been carried over from previous games, but I don't think any of them mentioned Junko. Well, it would probably be a little too obvious if they did. Yeah. So. Hmm. As you can see, I am a Perfect reproduction of Junko and Ashima. God, this lady will just not die. You're just a freak pretending to be Junko and Ashima, huh? Well, she is hot, so I mean, I understand why people want to bring her back. Yeah. No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow. Much like the real Junko and Ashima. I like that they're switching back and forth. Yeah. Whatever it is. You're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Oh, say mean things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. I mean, it doesn't. Two times now. Maybe, like, 55 times now, if it's actually been, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. So... It never ends the game? What do you mean? She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Wait, if force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she- No need, Kivo, because this class trial is over. I agree. What? It's already over? Oh, but I just showed up! <laughs> okay. You killed Kaede, She's always so weird. Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. Do you think she's gonna do the different personalities thing again? I don't know. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. Does the despair come in at the fact she does not care? Probably. <laughs> so? So? 
Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! Are there no viewers and it's just her own enjoyment? <laughs> Probably. Huh? The viewers? Um, it seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game. The first one? That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? All right. I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... So were you Sumugi Shirogane at the time? Must be. Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. All right. I thought she could only cosplay as fictional people. I know that's just kind of a stupid point to even bring up at this point, but... No, there's got to be something to it. But I mean, Junko's dead, so it's as fictional as it gets. <laughs> I guess. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. And then I took the name Tsumugi Shirogane and sneaked mm. in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? Nah. He was your comrade, right? Mm-mm. Huh? Comrade? Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. It's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. <laughs> Yikes. But I am despair itself. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one oh. of my believers. So he really was. Unless this is a lie, but... Um, a god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. I don't know, Kokichi I, still seems weird. I feel like there's more to I, that. I don't... I still am not going to draw any conclusions on Kokichi yet, but... He did make some pretty evil faces, and I don't think he was lying when he said, like, he wanted to see us all despair and, like, see our faces in anguish and stuff like that. Yeah. That felt pretty honest to me. <laughs> What a hopeless existence he led. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. <laughs> it was Subugi. <laughs> wow. I, I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Though there's still, we have truth bullets related to Kokichi. I wonder if Kokichi maybe did know. Hmm. What What did his, built, his whiteboard say about Subugi? I don't remember. Hmm. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. It's a lie. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? She you're doesn't. keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. You're what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. Nah, that's there's it. gotta be other people still alive and my proof is Kibo's antenna. Okay, okay. That's all I have. But also, <laughs> rich people have ought to have bunkers and stuff, you know? But they all had the sickness. Yeah, I guess the sickness is that, the one thing that makes that harder. I would think 16 people out of, like, billions. Because let's say half the world was destroyed, right? There had to have been some rich people with immunity. <laughs> At least a few. Yeah, I mean... But even then, we're still 200 years later. Yeah. What are the odds they managed to bunk up and... Maybe maybe there's a bunch of other people in cryosleep. If they have other cryosleep chambers, maybe they could be sick, but... Just frozen in time, maybe. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Who else would the antenna be connected to? Who who else's voice would it be? I would think another alter ego thing. Maybe while Samugi is the perfect reproduction of Junko, he might be a reproduction of Makoto. Right. So I mean, maybe there's, there's a lot like of a, huh? there's a lot of visual similarities. Yeah, there are. <laughs> yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recalled. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! Aww. No, that's wrong! 
Oh dear! I am so surprised! No. I think I might have saw that one. Okay. Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? Yeah, because the flashback light thing. Exactly. What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? Some of them. There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Here, look at this book. Okay, we'll start with that. The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy? This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate. But there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. <laughs> he never pointed out what was different. <laughs> yeah, come on. What is different? Yeah, please tell me. To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. No! I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember. Yeah, don't make Hope me do the Peak? thing again. Okay. What thing? Um, the like slideshow. So it started with the oh. biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Yes. God, the mouthful. Oh my God! That yes, I know. Originated at Hope's Peak Academy, <laughs> inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. Right. Yeah, we know that. All caused by a single high school girl. Is that the part that's different? Because it was caused... She had, like, a following. It was... She was the cause, but a lot of the other guys were the effect. Yeah. Yeah, it was me! Yeah, good job. <laughs> Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. Mm-hmm. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Interrupter. Wait a minute. Something <laughs> yeah. doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. Is it about the other Ultimate Despair guys? I'll determine exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play Spot the Difference! Well, I can't read the book, otherwise it'd be a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, is this going to be the uh, fighting each other game? Right. Maybe. Time to play some Danganronpa trivia! <laughs> or do we actually have to play trivia? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Point out the discrepancies. I didn't play the first game. I don't know. Oh, oh we only the get one truth most bullet. The awful, most tragic event in human history. Yes. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. True. Inspiring war and terrorism around the world. True. The cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. Yeah, pretty much. A student of Hope's Peak Academy? The ultimate despair! Junko Enoshima! I did everything in my power to spread despair over the entire world! <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to try it since it was the last one. Oh, how do I do this voice? Just Sumugi, but meaner. No, I definitely delivered despair to the whole world! You can't get something that basic wrong. Okay. Well, I didn't know Damn which it. other ones it could have been. Maybe the thing about the single high school girl, and we'll, that's we'll what, use the, like, other despairs one. That's what they were all fussy about earlier. Yeah, because we have the Jabberwock Island, guys. Yeah. So we'll try that. Small. Yeah, okay. there's that one. That's wrong! Okay. You're stupid! And I'm stupid, stupid too! Stupid Himiko! We're the ultimate stupid. started the tragedy. The ultimate despair. Junko Enoshima. At least that's what I remember. But that's not what this book says. What does that say? Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Enoshima. Okay. <laughs> it refers to a group and the movement that came after. To put it simply, she even looks fake, more doesn't she? Ultimate despair than Junko she Inoshima. looks different than the other ones. That's she, for she sure. She looks like plastic. I know. This is the like vibe I guess. Especially with the glassy eyes. She's, she's got almost got like a glare on her. Right. She's shiny this in a way. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply oh, to her. Oh, that's a discrepancy? Okay. Hmm. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Misremembered? No, it's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. Wow. And we're not even at the halfway point yet. There mm -mm. are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? 
I'm bored already. Just shut up. <laughs> so, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. Right. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. Also, Hifumi is so ugly. <laughs> Which one's that? The one in the top left. Oh. It's what not even like realistic doing? looking, he's just a meatball. I, the one who's I've seen some people who look died. like that. Events were set in motion. Every day in the mirror. No, it, in America. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> and the world began to move towards restoration. Yay. Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on. But the worst case scenario was avoided. Yay! A happy ending. Not yet. There are more points that conflict with this history. I'll point those out next. Okay. No! Right now. Glad we don't have a choice of truth bullet though. History happened. Yeah. Okay, which one's wrong? He's talking the fast. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. And forced held into the That's prisoner. not true. They were not held prisoner. Oh, they I have volunteered. Some bad news about that. The events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the future foundation are still fighting, but for now, we've avoided the worst of it. Okay, so you want to try the... What well, Maki said the first time. Okay. okay. Perfect. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. When did you have time to read this book, dude? <laughs> yeah, he read that fast. It was the class themselves. They shut themselves in. Shut themselves in? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. Mm. During the tragedy... The 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. <laughs> and then it got overruled. So our memory of the 78th class oh. being trapped by the ultimate despair? This is not what I was thinking. Oh, what were you thinking? I thought we were talking about the, the remnants. The How they volunteered game? to go into the simulation. Oh, no, we were talking about the first game. <laughs> well... <laughs> that's why. That's why I was like, I'm kind of surprised you remember that far back, but good on you. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, I guess it applies both times, but still. So it makes you think. Does it apply a third time? I guess we agreed to go to the Gopher Project, and then it. Not quite the same, though. I don't think. Why not? They didn't expect it to be a killing true, game when true, they true. volunteered. Anyway, let's continue. Are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about By it. By esteemed researchers? Your are all correct. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. And we will. In the next episode! I'm going to end it now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>and then we'll go off of how long those characters lived. Oh, okay. Out of all the games, huh? Ugh, you gotta give me like yeah, 10 me hours minutes. and like a Google Doc to like write out all my thoughts with this. Um, you go first. Let me let me think a minute and you go first. Please be someone cool. If you say like Gonta, I, I, don't, I, I will punch you in the throat. I don't think you would live to the end for sure. No, I can agree with you there. Just, I wouldn't. Well, just because you give me the vibes of like a main character, you know? But they never lived to the end. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, like, not like the main MC, like Shuichi or Hajime, but like someone more like with personality and someone who's involved in the story more. Um, you wouldn't be the type to just sit back like Sumugi and just do nothing the whole game. No, no, I think I would try and contribute pretty well. So, not to the killing, but to the figuring things out. So I would say you would probably last. You would be the chapter 3 1 to like. 
I, okay. I think you'd make it a perfect halfway. I think I even had like a community post come out of what chapter would you guys live till. Put the results on screen. But so yeah, I'd give you if I were to pick a chapter, probably chapter three, because you do give me vibes of either like me, like like I can't say you remind me of any of the characters. Okay. Because all the characters are so crazy and wild. They, they are like it's hard to be like. Like I can't say like you're just like this character for real, but you kind of resemble either. Mikan. I'll take Mikan. Maybe Tenko. Maybe Mew. And they all die either in chapter in the, three or four. So I would give you like chapter, I would give you 3.5 as your final score out of six. 3.5 is how long you're living. You know what? That's not bad. That, I, that's, 50% in some countries is probably a passing grade. That, it's more than 50. Yeah, yeah. Where, where would you place me? And who do I remind you of? I don't know. You do... I think you do have a good calmness where you could be a main character. Like like a Shuichi or Hajime. I would not say Shuichi. Shuichi's too smart. Yes. I'd, I'd definitely but be like... I do see Hajime pretty well. I don't know enough about the first game, so I couldn't really say You anything. know, I think I'd be Hajime, but only in the part where he picks up the man's nut, then it's me. <laughs> then it's me for real. Yeah, you would be the type to peep in on someone washing each other. I would not. I would be so, not even because I would think this is so morally wrong. I shouldn't do this, even though that thought would be there. But it'd be definitely like I would I'm getting caught and then I'm getting <laughs> killed. Like <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fair enough. Like it'd just be worried like someone will catch me in the act. Like I think any other characters I remind you of? Cuz Hajime, Hajime is Live into the end, like I'm good if <laughs> right. if that's the case. But. I kind of want to say second game Byakuya, but minus the like arrogance and rudeness, like because he did a good job at trying to like corral everyone, you know. But he was also kind of a jerk, which I don't think you would be unless you had to be. Okay. You know, because I do, I could see you taking up the jerk mantle very easily, but only when it like has to happen. Like chapter five, everyone's desperate, people are dying. As much as I would never want to be in a killing game, the Dang and Rampa games do make it look fun, and I am so curious how I would act in that situation. I, I would take a killing you know? game that you could like volunteer for. I would. So we kind of talked about this before. It'd be so cool if we got like a big, cool YouTube channel and we hosted our own like killing game well, like a mr beast type thing kind of yeah where we got like other like random people or other youtubers and had them participate for like a week and just had like different stuff set up uh, for them oh, okay, to do okay, creative okay. things you know here's a question then uh-huh you are given the opportunity to enter your own like killing game right now with random people all colorful personalities right mm -hmm. you'll you can die in it and everything's fine but it's like a simulation okay so you can go in it and you can live either right away or die or whatever. Your memories are wiped, so you don't know why you're there. Okay? Mm -hmm. You might get hints and trickles like, oh, I volunteered, what? The flashback like told me that I'm e exactly. a crappy let's player. <laughs> <laughs> but well, once you die, then you're like booted out and it's like, oh, okay, this happens. I remember I volunteered for this. You'd be fine with it. Mm -hmm. Would you do it? For how long? Um, like, how long is the max length of this? Because I think like Danganronpa 2 goes on for like a month, the whole game. We'll say two months, just to like give it plenty of time, because I don't like motives and stuff would be introduced to kind of force it to happen. I I guess I don't see why not. Like my only my main worry would be like I'm gonna go broke in those two months. Like <laughs> we'll say you're compensated for your time. Okay. So just but just like equally to what I get paid now. Sure, because you're still signing up for a bunch of trauma, pretty much. Like, you're probably, if you get killed in a brutal way or executed, you're going to wake up and be like, oh my god, I just had my intestines ripped out. I would do it only because I feel like I would come out of that experience better. Ooh, with more understanding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With more understanding of the world and myself and, like, what's really important. Because I feel like if you're in this situation... Okay. And you're bonding with all of these people. Plus, you just make a lot of really cool friends doing that. Yeah, you're going to wake up and be like, oh, don't worry about killing me. You want to go get a burger or something? Yeah, I would, I would like befriend everyone there. Yeah. But you watch your friends die off one by one. I feel like you would really start to understand in your heart the value of human life. And especially when it's that closely connected too. Because yeah. the Dang and Rapa games do not have a lot of characters. But they right. have a lot of depth to those characters. Mm -hmm. so. so, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah, I think I would. It would be pretty traumatizing. 
and I would be very curious what I would do. I feel like you'd learn a lot about yourself. Do you too. think you'd ever be a killer? Maybe if you like hated everyone else and thought like, now nah, these people suck. But then again, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I would, unless there was a motive that was like, almost like Gundams. You know, where it was like, well, everyone's gonna die if you don't. Yeah. Th fair. Then I could see myself being like, okay. Would you try and perpetuate the trial? Like just to see if you could get away with it? Uh, yeah, probably. I'd probably be like, well, I'm I curious. Mean, if I'm already here. I'd pull so. a Kaede where it's like, I'll admit it at the end if no one can figure it out. Yeah. But until then, I'm going to see if you can figure it out. You know, I might as well spur on your detective skills so you can survive longer. Fair enough. So yeah, that's the only situation I really see myself being a killer in. Or if there's just a motive that literally drives me insane. I, I could totally see myself trying to play the friendly route and then get killed, just like Tenko did in uh, the third chapter. I, I think you're pretty spot on with that analysis but so where, where do you put me on a score i gave you a 3.5 like if six is living to the end and zero is dying right away i give you a 3.5 what do you give me i'm gonna put you at a four okay so like chapter four so you do think i'd outlive you yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah definitely okay De definitely i see that a million times over just because i could totally see just luck being weird, you know, or like... <laughs> and just you getting killed and then me being like, Ethan, I'll or it, avenge you at the it trial. It could just like genuinely be like a clumsy thing where it's like, oops, I fell off a cliff. And we try... But there just so happens to be like Looney Tunes logic and there's a bunch of clues yeah. scattered throughout. Yeah. It's like, who killed him? I don't get it. Oh, he tripped. Yeah, I, I could <laughs> see that. That would be my trial. I'd wake up and be like, how did That I would be a, such a cool trial, though. I would. That would Do they cool. have one like that? Just an accidental... Um, kind of. They. I guess Keo kind of acci accidentally murders Angie, but <laughs> yeah. Oops! I whacked her with a giant board. <laughs> Oopsie. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think four. I think you could easily be six, if it was. Like, I, I would have to see the cast I'm stuck with. Well, also like, okay, in the game logic, you know Shuichi's not gonna get killed unless it's like actually the end, right? Yeah, like unless it's at the end of the game or something. Because they're not just gonna. Or be like, like you had a really cool theory about maybe we use the Necronomicon to come back to life and solve our own murder. That would be really cool. That, if I'm right about that, that'd be awesome. That'd be so sick. But so it's like by game logic, you know Shuichi's a perfect six, right? By real life logic, I don't think you can guarantee anyone past the four. True. So I could see you going further if we're going by game logic, but like realistic, especially if you've proven yourself useful, which I think you could. If people are like, oh, Gage actually, you know, knows how to get the facts together, they'd immediately be like, well, I'm just going to kill him. So maybe that bump you down to like a two, honestly. Maybe someone would see you be good at first, because I think you genuinely would. Guys, I got this. Yeah, get your... <sighs> there we go. No, guys, let's get some gel. You guys can't tell, but he's got the Ahoge in his pants, too. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I do kind of have an Ahoge thing going on, because my hair sits, like, pretty much perfectly down the middle. Mm -hmm. But every now and then I'll get this patch, like, in the middle that doesn't want to decide. And it'll just kind of, like... I, it doesn't stick up or anything, but it's just, like, a patch in the middle that will, like, wave around, you know? Mm. So maybe I should get some gel and like grab that patch and go. <laughs> I think it'd make me smarter. It's, it's like an antenna. It like goes up and captures like the cell towers and stuff and like, you know. It gives you that 5G virus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, that's all the questions we'll answer for today, everybody. Probably not even gonna include an outro in this. It's probably, is this all gonna go on one video? I would think you'd like no, split these I'm questions. I'm going to split like all these questions.